What is it? I'm sorry. It's terrible. We've got a... Now... Sorry. Hey there, Alwyn. Tell me one thing. Your past. Do you remember any of it? No. Not really. Afraid not. Right. Of course. If you did remember, there's no way you would be talking to me. But... I do remember you're my sister, Wynne. She does. But I don't. So then. What will you do to me this time? Do to you? But when those knights were holding you prisoner? Stop. Huh? I don't know you anymore, so don't call me that. But when? Enough. Oh, okay. I was a prisoner for a very long time. But it wasn't the knights. Well, who then? You ought to know. And why should I bother to help you? Figure out the obvious. You have to remember. For Lady Luce. Our mom? Is she here? Is she still alive? Yes. They're here. Lady Luce and Lord Rorik. Rorik? <gasps> Our dad? Then mom and dad are both okay? Where are they? But you know that too. Where they are. What they're doing. We do? Are you sure? Alwyn. Are you one of the bad guys? Me? One of them? You must be joking! But... You went around in a mask, tricking us. <sighs> Enough. Say no more. I just don't want to hear it. Siren! Wait! You can't go! We still have so many questions! You bring nothing to this world but pain! And chaos! Leave now! Go back home! And never wake from your sleep again! Your mother and father... I'll save them. Uh, gosh, bomb it! What the honk is her problem? She didn't tell us anything. No, but you heard what she said about Mom and Dad. They need to be saved. Huh? Oh, yeah. I guess she did. Okay, but what do they need saving from? I don't know. Hey! What's going on? Did you see that mirage? Where's Alan? That explains what happened. But then, what are you two going to do now? I'm not sure. I know, this may sound a little selfish, but... If you don't mind, maybe you could help us fight off the Cogna that have appeared across Grimmore. We need more manpower. As much as we can get. Sure. Huh? Whether we were tricked or not, we're still the ones who brought them here. We have to fix this. As long as we have the power to do it. 
Yeah, you're right. Besides... <sighs> helping the League out with operations means... gathering mirages and getting stronger. If Seraphie and Tom are right, and we can trust what Enicro told us... then we ought to keep going. Let's collect mirages and find our family. <sighs> yeah. Great. Okay then, the airship. We'll let you borrow it. The skies are yours. Go on out there and help wherever you can. It's good that we're helping the League out. But remember, we need to round up more mirages. Tama, these... Cogna things? Can you tell us more about them? They look powerful. Like mirages, some of the Cogna are strong and some not so the much. Then again, the tough ones are really the really the tough. In fact, some of the Cogna have such powerful defenses that regular attacks that won't even leave a scratch on them. Dude, what? How are we supposed to stop them then? Remember, we're not the only ones out there fighting. There's Cloud, Squall, Lightning, we're all gonna have to learn to help each other out. Right. Good point. Chapter 21 Chaos in Grimoire. Okay, so where are we supposed to start? Well, if we can track down Cloud, Squall, and Lightning, they could probably use a little help with the Cogna. Right, but where are they? Oh, we need more intel! Oh, for that the kind of stuff, you should definitely consult with Seraphie. Hang on while I go in to get her! Yeah, hi. So I suppose you're gonna make me break out the old rumor radar for you. Rumor radar? Oh, that's my secret power, hun. It lets me instantly snap up every bit of gossip within my threshold. In a teensy world like this, that basically only amounts to everything. Whoa, now that's cool! Huh? Is it cool? Well, I'm no expert, but I'd say it is. Woohoo! I thought I'd never be one of those cool pixies. Well, you'd be the cooler if you picked up facts instead of rumors. Thanks for that reminder. Uh, well, so do you mind trying it? Yeah, sure. I guess I'll start us out by narrowing down the search to those Cogna we're after. Sound good? Here's the latest. So, like, things are basically terrible everywhere? That's a problem. We can't be in all of those places at once. Time! I command you to stop! Okay, can we just build a time machine or something? Inside Ninewood Hills, you do realize that time is essentially stopped? Oh, wait! That girl behind the door in Ninewood Hills! Couldn't she help us reach everyone? <gasps> You're right! Inside her room, we can skip around to any point in time that we want! To board the airship! 
spaceship, all you have to do is press the button shown on the world map. Chocolate, come quick! Oh, well, hello there, Barts. What's the matter? It's Boko. He's been choconapped. It's gotta be Hyperion. He and his gang are up to no good again. What? So Boko's here, huh? That's amazing, Chocolate. I don't know anyone else who can pick up a Chocobo SOS. Oh, yes. Well, so tell me, how was Boko Choco napped again? Well, you see, I was kind of taking a nap, so I'm not entirely sure how it all went down. But suddenly, I could hear Boko quaying. He sounded unmistakably hostile, just like when we faced that black Chocobo. Wow. But I'm quite certain I would have sensed it if Hyperion was still around. Which can only mean, it must have been something else. Master, what is it? Huh? Bart, Boko's in big trouble! We have to go in now! Huh? What? Chocolate, how do you know that he... Hey, wait up! Boko! What in the... Oh, Master! So you're the specimen's owner. It's about time. What the? This Chocobo can talk? Huh? What are you talking about? Chocobo Galeen! Uh, no, huh? don't you see, Bart? Hey, just hold on it's a sec. Being translated Isn't by... that the same chick that was sitting on your head? Whoa! That thing was alive? Hey, pay attention. Uh, yes, well, you could say it's alive, but... It's more like I live with it, so... uh, Stop running your traps! I'm trying to talk over here! Hmm. This Chocobo seems to be pretty intelligent. Makes you wonder why he bothers Karen so much about his human owner. He ought to be completely ashamed of himself. And I had such hopes that he'd be a prime specimen when we Mecha Chocobos populate this world. Wait, hold on. Mecha Chocobos? Populate this world? For far too long now, this world's chocobos have nuzzled up to you humans. Isn't that the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard? Isn't that normal? Humans and chocobos are... I mean, take me and Boko. We've always survived by helping each other out. <laughs> what you call helping each other, I call subjugation. Everyone knows chocobos are smarter than humans. It's time for Grimoire's chocobos to welcome the Cogna and become this world's dominant species! What are you talking about? Boko would never want something like that. That's right! And the same is true for all the chocobos out there! Huh? Who are you? Hmm, how very unusual. Why would you go and lower yourself by siding with this human? Me? I'm not lowering anything. The chocobos of this world are already perfectly happy without your help. You think being enslaved by humans is happiness? What a heap and load of phoenix down. I've heard enough. Boko here is coming along with us. You made a big mistake spying on us. Now you're gonna pay the ultimate price. It's not spying when you go and blab it all over the place. Whoa, a robot chocobo. How cool is that? 
Tama, you should make yourself a robot too! Made of genuine Tamamantium alloy! No, I think you should be the robot! Good idea! If we did that, then we can dismantle him whenever he gets out of line, right? Dude, you're scaring me! So bad. Oh, I can't hey believe there, they wanted to rule the <laughs> world with cognified chocobos. What a nightmare. That no good mecha chocobo. Yeah, I guess that explains Hyperion. I bet you that he must have been cognified by those scoundrels too. I can't even imagine. Ah! Oh no, yes I can! Oh, that reminds me. That chick perched on your head. It was doing the talking, right? Do you want to explain how that works? Just say, oh, hey, you know what? <laughs> I've really got to get back to the shop. <gasps> Do you realize what this means? I may have just found the one chocobo that can speak our language. Huh? Hey, wait for me, <laughs> Chocolate! <laughs> chocobo go chick! <laughs> Hey, are you all right? Uh, yes, I think so. I can't thank you enough. Man, since when did Grimoire get so grim anyway? Ah, uh, don't sweat it. Things will work out. The two of us can handle anything. Ah, a human who's able to defeat the Cogna. Is he a medium? Or has he already awakened? Either way, I know just what to do with him. Bugs. Bugs. Please tell me you didn't come here to start your nonsense again. There's a time and a place, okay? Right now I'm busy dismantling these doohickeys. Bart! I have awaited this day a thousand years! Did you just add a digit? You're not getting away without a duel this time! Don't you want to defeat those... Uh, 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 goggle, kabuggle, buggle, knagabog, whatever they are, I know how to stop them! Kagabogle, nagabog, debogle, what? What? You mean the Cogna? So you know a way to beat them? Yes! Then what are we waiting for? G-Mesh! 
I must have had you all wrong. Quick, quick! Hey, this is far enough. I want to see this secret weapon you told me about, yeah. right? <laughs> I can't believe that it was easy as he said. Now that I have you alone, we can get our clash on. Birds! Huh? Who's he? Do you know a way to stop those machines or don't you? No clue. What? I just told you what he said I should if I wanted you to play along. Now let's get right down to the main event. True, I may not remember the finer points, but today is the day I finally picked that bone with you that I'm fairly certain I have. Excellent work luring the champion here. You've served your purpose. Get lost. Huh? What? But I haven't had a chance to settle the score with Bart. Silence! He'll meet his demise at my hands. Once they hear I defeated a champion, my rise to greater glory is all but assured. Haven't you ever heard of keeping your word? You promised I would get to fight Bart's one-on-one. -on -one. What do you know? So that's the story. This fed head played you like a fiddle, Gilgamesh. Time for you to die! I'm sorry, Bart. Where did it all go wrong? Oh man, once I've wiped the floor with these guys, you're in for an earful. <laughs> I'm not holding back against these bullies anymore! Agreed. They definitely have it coming to them this time. Predictable. <sighs> Did those two just help me out? If so, they consider me grateful. We would have had a hard time with that on our own. Now, as for you, how could you let him fool you like that? I'm sorry. When he approached me, he seemed so keen on helping me find you. I was at my wit's end. I couldn't think of any other way to get you to fight with me. Aw, oh, come on. Why are you so fixated on fighting me Don't in the move, champion. Otherwise, I can't guarantee their safety. <gasps> what? <gasps> no. When did he... <gasps> if you're truly a champion to these people, then you lay down your arms at once. Now, do as I say. What are you waiting for? Shake a leg! Uh, right! Uh, uh, How dare you! You just got Gilga blocked! Barks, take the villagers and get out of here! What about... Just go! This is my mess to clean up! A shame this is goodbye. Now I will never know the joy of dueling you. You know, he was really a tough nut to crack, wasn't he? But... I thought he was all right. Oh, I have awaited this damn million years! Birds! This time we settle things once and for all! <laughs> How many zeros do you think you can add before that sounds ridiculous? Now, what do you say you and me get our fight on? Uh, 
no thanks. I'm gonna pass. <laughs> Poco, let's scram. Giddy up! Huh? Hey, come back here! Birds! Do you mind if I take a little nap? What now? Whose soul will you touch? I thought I'd run into my master, let alone get subjected to so much rigorous training. You remember the flood. That was huh? the very first sign What's of the punishment to come. The appearance of those mechanical monsters and horrible mirages. This is all the wrath of the Crimson Prophecy. And who do we have to blame for it but that heretic? She came here spouting the Azure Prophecy's lies. And now it is we who are being punished for it. She called herself a summoner, but her foolishness and blasphemy have cost us dear. You mark my- How can you say that? You can't possibly blame others for this. Oh, please, there's no mistaking it. The unbelievers have brought this upon themselves. Give me a break. If the Crimson Prophecy did turn the world upside down, there you go. What better reason not to go along with it? What did you say? How dare you ridicule the one true- Where did it come from? S -s Somebody said for help! Oh, pull it together. I'll take care of this. <laughs> it didn't work? <laughs> <laughs> Can't you see this is all your fault? It's here because of you! You see what happens when you side with heretics? The prophecy is gonna see that we all pay! Oh, Freva. Fine. What are you planning to do about it? What? Listen to you. All this talk of prophecies and punishment, where is that going to get you? You want to blame others for the machines? You want to blame others for this mirage? That's fine. And then, what next? Go ahead and believe in any prophecy you want, but you better like what it gives you if you're not going to act. So, what's your brilliant plan of action then? Yeah. We saw it. You weren't able to put so much as a scratch on that thing. Only those who believe in the prophecy shall be rewarded. There will always be times when even your best efforts fail. But the courage to give it another go, that's the steel you forge destinies with. Have it your way. Go ahead and hold out hope for some miracle and let that mirage stomp all over you. But I'm not giving up. I'm defending this town. If the power's in my hands. Final heaven! <laughs> yes! Let's go! Wow! That was one mega mighty punch! I'll say. And she never would have pulled it off if she hadn't believed in herself. She never gives up. We could all learn a lot Wee! from her. Yup! I'm gonna start right now! One punch! That's what you took away from this, huh?
I guess all that training paid off. How did you cause that miracle to happen? Don't diminish all my hard work by writing it off as a miracle. Honestly, you're still just a heretic. I don't care what it is you choose to believe in. But look, don't just go around fanning people's fears. Why not do something meaningful? Make the situation better. The thing about higher powers? They don't help people who don't help themselves. No way. <gasps> I suppose that's fair. So, um... I'm sorry. Oh, no. There's no need for you to apologize. With the world in such dire straits, we need to band together. Right? Help from above will come when we earn it. Between the Cogna and Mirages, I could really use a break. Can't wait till this is over, and I can get back to Blitzball training. <laughs> I've got my own business to attend to, as long as he's still out there. As for me, I know that once Bahamut is dealt with and the Cogna are gone, I've always dreamed of becoming an instructor. <laughs> Squall, you okay there, buddy? Don't think I've ever seen you like this. You look kind of troubled. So you... You've all given some thought to what happens next. You've got aspirations. You all know where you're going. But not... me. Nothing? Come on. You must have put something on hold for this. What were you gonna do with your life? I mean, once all the bad guys are gone for good, what's the first thing you want to do? Like, there can't be nothing. You want to know what I'm planning to do with my life? I never thought about it. I guess I have no future. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being undemanding. Is Titus right? No, it's worse than that. It's like I'm empty. I've got no dreams. I don't think I even know how to dream. All I really know is fighting. Is that what my life is? Once the Federation has been destroyed, will I no longer have a purpose? Squall! We've picked up a powerful mirage. Shulk is already en route. Can you go? Sure. I'll take care of it. Besides, it's not like I've got anything else important on the horizon. I'm here now. I'll take over. Hold on a minute. Let's team up. It'll improve our chances. If we attack both... Just stay back. I said I've got it. <gasps> Would you let me finish this time? If we work together... Just get... stop. Fighting. It's the only thing I've got. I'm not like the rest of you. You've got bright futures. I won't let you get hurt. Leave that to losers like me. Hmm? Then put your fears to rest. I'm like you. I have nothing to live for beyond this. I am ready to die in battle, whenever that moment should come. What? But... still... Please. You just said that fighting is all you've got. If so, you must know exactly how I feel. I have no dreams. As such, I've no incentive to survive this war. In fact, I have a very compelling incentive to not survive. So why don't we do this? Let's go out guns blazing. End it all here and now. 
Discharging all our magic at once would destroy that mirage. Yeah. Right. If I really thought that the world would be better off without me. If I'm that sad, that desperate. Fine. But I don't think that. Not enough to give up on living. No way. Mm -hmm. No guns blazing. I do have a dream. Sorry. No dying today. You know what I dream? That one day... I'll fill the world with flowers. Huh? Think about it. Flowers make people relax. The way I see it, they help make the world more peaceful. When this is over, I was hoping you would come and plant with me. So, don't go dying on me now. If you don't have your own dream, you can find one later. Alright? Life is just too precious. Glad you're catching on. Now quit your moping. Stop dragging yourself in the dirt and work with me. Shulk? Did you... play me? Well, after your talk with Titus, I noticed you seemed somewhat down. <laughs> you got me. Won't do it again. So, you ready? Future's waiting. It's a nice thought. Maybe we can help him plant those flowers. We could scatter the seeds from Balam Garden. <laughs> we could.
You know, it may actually not be such a bad idea. Hmm? Filling the world with flowers once this is all over. Cut it out. It was the only thing I could come up with. <laughs> what do you say we head back? Everyone's waiting. <laughs>